1993, uh, we started getting wet. We, uh, when our wet cycle really started cranking up, and uh, we kept noticing certain areas where, and we started seeing these salts coming, and they started upwelling, and just with so much moisture around, uh, the salts were moving all over in the soils and coming to the surface. They weren't getting flushed back down the way they should, and you know it's like everything was just so saturated. problem a lot of us up here in North Dakota have been dealing with is a salinity issue. Uh, you get some sloughs that have been wet for many years, they start getting a ring of salt around them and that ring just keeps moving out, moving out and they become pretty much unproductive areas and, and now it, we have gotten a little drier and people are getting them worked and you know manage, trying to manage them salts and different things you know that's where the cover crops once again can come in but that salts has been a, been a kind of a thorn in our side here since this wet cycle started. When it comes to the salts and planting into it, uh, you know, your EC levels really, uh, what I've learned is really what dictates what kind of crop. Uh, you know, corn and soybeans, they, they don't like much more than a one and a half, two. And, you know, that's their probably threshold where you're going to start losing, losing yield. Or, you know, your barley is probably going to tolerate the most salt. So if you have higher ECs and you, got to manage your crop to like a barley will like or can will grow on a 4EC and that's one of the highest harvestable crops that will grow in a high salt area and you know there's many years you're always hoping it would be this will be the year when you're planting it and it just never happened so you know we started deciding that instead of putting in a very expensive corn crop in some of these areas that never do produce or produce a very very low uh, yield that you know it's not sustainable to farm it you're losing money so that's where we started pulling like in a couple fields pull that area out of production that's where we put the a demo site in with the NDSU and stuff so we gotta we're starting to understand we got to manage that so much different and you know maybe more suitable crops to you know maybe pulling it out uh, put it in a grass and hanging it and you know it's like it's one of them deals too, to try to keep something established in them salt areas is the best way to manage it. Uh, we started introducing the wheat and barley, the cereal crops back into, into our rotation. It was mainly to help uh, on our saline soils to try to bring it back into condition by utilizing the cover crops. And it's the easiest crop to raise to get something growing right behind it. But your, when you go to your ECs, it'll handle a lot more salty ground than your soybeans and corn will. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a system that works, that's been working on our farm, to, on our, some of our tougher ground to bring in the, the small grains back into our system. Mm -hmm.